<laughs> How is your shit? It's disgusting. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Or is your bottom half disconnected? I think I've got internal bleeding. <laughs> Been a while, but I think we've got a list of things we need to sort today. Um, that's all obviously covered up for the moment, but we've got engine earths, relocate the fuse box, plumb the clutch line in, uh, maybe finish off this wiring that I was tackling last time. Um, no, top job on that. But um, yeah, it's bay, I think. And then it should start again, shouldn't it? Fucking hope so. It should run again. So, um, Not today, this is what it looks like at the moment. Hopefully, you can see this a bit clearer than when, when we had the GoPro on it. But so, just a quick overview Mishimoto Rad, K2, oh no, they're Mishimoto hoses as well. Um, Carseps fuel rail with all custom lines. Uh, AEM uh, FPR has bought mounts, obviously. K tuned shifter cables, if you can see those. Pretty much K tuned everything. Wrinkled black rocker cover and intake manifold. Custom um, intake, which is over there on that seat at the moment. Don't look at that mess. But, I've been distracted by this beast. Oh, the Chaley? The Honda Chaley. We're gonna get that running someday. I'm sure we'll do a video on that. It's got no chain or battery. So Dan and I, when we <laughs> when we first got it, tried to, we're kicking it over for about five minutes and then realized- It was not five minutes, it was like three kicks. Nah, it was five minutes. Uh, back to the car. One inch master cylinder off an EK9. Uh, there's our clutch reservoir there, hanging off the back of the rocker cover. Skunk 2, um, can't remember the exact name of it at the moment. Exhaust Alpha. manifold, Alpha something or other. Skunk 2 Alpha. K-tuned hoses, heater hoses, and Cosmos. obviously, oh yeah, so we've got the, uh, the car sets. Uh, power steering and uh, alternator relocation bracket in there too. Uh, I think aftermarket parts wise that's it. Obviously the bay has been fully smoothed and painted as well as the interior as well. Looks like a complete tip in here at the moment. Buddy Club shifter with, uh, I think that's just the standard Type R knob on there. And um, obviously, cage as well. Shout out to CT Fabrications for that. I'll stick the link in the uh, description to his new Facebook page. He just recently got a new unit as well. So if you're in the southeast and you need any custom fabrication whatsoever, then. Um, Hit up Chris and he'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Um, suspension wise, obviously the uh, the suspension's still standard. The wheels are Enki RPF ones. We've got um, Muteki uh, lug nuts with uh, BWR extended studs. Obviously, we've switched to a disc set up on the back, and we've got. 262s from an EK on the front with skunk two arms, custom brake lines and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. Sunroof, bumper. We've got, it's acting as a table at the moment, but um, a fiberworks bung in there that will obviously look a million times better once it's all painted. A 
JDM bumper courtesy of our friend Carl and a, as Dan says, a solid fab uh, two and a half inch system to three inch exit and that's a two uh, four inch silencer system so should be quite enough for the track if we uh, if we get a run in today then um, you might be able to hear what it sounds like today you're very ambitious I like the ambition but <laughs> is it not going to happen <laughs> there's fucking no chance 4G UK shout out to Eden even though he did remind me on the delivery note that K series were shit. He's building a fucking D series, isn't he? What a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's get cracking on. I'll set this up somewhere and uh, stick the GoPro on my head. And um, we'll get cracking. Got the rails in the car, so now we just need to determine it. I don't know if you can see in the image, but the left rail sits about an inch higher than the right. So, um, in a bid to, um, to work with what we've got, we're going to try and make these work. I think maybe try and space this side up so then it matches what we've got on that side. And then um, we'll be able to get our side mounts on, obviously either side, and then use the um, the seeker seat that I have for the time being, maybe. Dan's uh, got the GoPro on his head, cracking on with uh, getting this mass of wiring sorted down here. I forgot to mention in the previous video, obviously we've got K-Pro as well, which is obviously running the engine. And... Uh, He's just getting all that stuff wired in nicely. So we, we had it running, obviously. If you've seen in previous videos, the car's actually been running. But the wiring was all a bit sort of haphazard to actually get it all get it all in and just make sure it actually worked. So Dan's just tidying that up at the moment. This is the engine loom. Hopefully. It's all uh Hopefully it's tucked. It's all it's all wrapped up, tucked. It's not the best job in the world, but it's not bad. I don't think. So um, we've sort of cut all the wires to length and um, and obviously sort of rooted them where we want them and then sort of wrapped it up in this black heat resistant um, loom tape. Well, so well, um, yeah, once, once we had it all in position we just used um, little bits of insulation tape here and there just to keep sort of this branch separate from this branch and keep it in shape so we could just wrap it off the car so hopefully it still fits but there's every chance that something's not going to reach we're about to find out <laughs> In that one. Fuck. Nice. Right, so it's pretty much back together engine wise. I've had to use these old earths again, but um, I'll fix that next time. So we're going to try and now. In theory, get it fired up. So um, obviously the in intake wasn't on there before, so that is a K-tune velocity stack with a three-inch intake that uh, again was made by Solid Fab. And um, yeah, I think we're ready to fire it up. So the fuse box is now uh, over this side. Obviously, all of the loom still yet to be wrapped. But our idea is that we're going to try and put the fuse box on top of this connector from the blower to the sort of heater matrix. So uh, that should keep that out of the way. 
and um, like I say Dan's doing a final couple of bits then we can plug the battery back in which is an Odyssey um, battery with like a power vault cage and um, a couple of those in Dan's crack over there check that out clocks are all in They light up as well. Nice. What was that? Uh, I think it's firing in the wrong cylinders. You come out of the exhaust and pop in. <laughs> <laughs> We tried our best to get it started, but uh, we think the battery's flat. That's the only thing we can put it down to. The, we, first, start the, the first start was a bit of a disaster. We, um, we plugged the injectors in, in the wrong order, and I think we flooded it, and then when the right uh, cylinder did fire, it just massively backfired. So, um, yeah, we're going to maybe come down and try it again tomorrow, hopefully roll it out. So um, you can see it in the daylight, and then we'll start it out there, give it a few revs, smash it off the limiter a bit, <laughs> and um, and then go from there. But yeah, I mean, we tried our best, but uh, yeah, battery probs, and um, we can't be bothered to pull the battery out of the beamer for the time being. So we'll be back tomorrow, and um, yeah, I'm not, sure on whether I'll edit this vlog tonight I'll put it up or just wait until tomorrow but yeah we'll see so um, see you later guys if this is a separate log please a log vlog please uh, obviously like and subscribe and um, yeah stay tuned we'll see you shortly it didn't blow any fuses or anything so I'm sure it was just the wrong cylinders Bye! <laughs> Spotted his scooter over here. <laughs> I don't know why he's left it here, it's gone a bit rusty. <laughs> cosmic flasher. <laughs> why are you a cosmic flasher? As a quick side note, we've had this engine sat here since it came out about a year ago. Um, if anyone wants it, then feel free to come and pick it up. We don't want anything for it. Um, it's a D... Uh, I can't even see what that says. D14, what is it? 1.4. <laughs> I mean, clearly we know so much about this engine. It's a D14A1, isn't it? A D14A1 or D14A2. So. Uh, if you want to check exactly what the engine is, that's the reg of the car. Because, uh, oh, it had 80,245 miles on it. Are you sure they are old ones? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were, actually. So, um, relatively low mileage. I don't know if anyone would want this, but if you do, let us know. Rob said he'll give you a blowy if you come and get it. I didn't say that but I might be willing to do it. <laughs>